Wi-Fi down, traveling, no problem. In this video, I will show you how to use new Outlook for Windows completely offline. Read, search, draft and clean up your inbox. Then sync almost everything once you get your internet back. So let's understand how to do that. Let's jump on it. Now here I am on my new Outlook and what you need to do is to first click on this gear symbol which is available on the top right corner of your screen. And that will take you to the setting dialog box. Here you need to hit general from this left navigation section. Now from the given options you need to select offline. Now that will give you few options over here. Now turn this settings on to get to your email, calendar and people even when you are not connected to the internet. Data will be stored to your drive. You can choose what you want to save below. Learn more. So this is the link already provided by the Microsoft and you can learn more and more about work offline in new outlook. This is a article from Microsoft itself. Now what it says that you can use this new outlook for windows even if you are not connected to the internet by enabling the offline access. So this is a very important point. Now I will see what can I do when I am offline in new outlook. So if I am totally offline, my internet is totally disconnected, what I can do in new outlook. So here read message and view outlook items, perform action on emails and view and update your settings. So these are the options which you can very easily do in new outlook. Read mails, create and save new draft, send new messages to outbox, reply forward, search for emails, create, rename, move, delete and folders. Now you can also view calendars and events and view people contacts. You can perform few actions like archive, category, copy the folder, delete, flag and flag, read and read, move to focus other, move to another folder, pin, report junk, not junk, report phishing and snooze. And these are few other updates you can uh, view or update like about uh, Outlook, automatic reply, categorize email accounts and people view. So these are the steps I will show you in the demo once I complete this article. What this article say more about the this feature. What else do you need to know about offline in new Outlook? So these are few features. The following aren't currently available offline, but we plan to include in the future updates. In future, there is a possibility that Microsoft will going to add some other options which are currently not available offline. So these are RSVP for meeting invitation, view and add attachments and images, view shared and delegation mailbox. These three features which are already under rolling out from Microsoft. That means these things are about to add in a month or, or two. Create, update and delete calendar events in development. This is also a feature which is currently not available in offline, but it is about to launch within few months. Change short for emails, view and update settings for notification, signature and calendar. So these are features till date is not available in offline. But in couple of months, these are going to add in offline working if you are using new Outlook. Jump back to the Outlook. Now first you need to enable this toggle which is enable offline email, calendar and people. Now next is this setting are applied at the account level. I have two email addresses so I select any one of it. Now first folder to save. Choose which folder you will like to save a local copy of. By default, default and favorites folder is already selected, days of email to save, the longer period of time you select and more space will be used for your device. Currently 30 days is selected, you can reduce or increase according to your requirement. I will make it 7 days. Include file attachments as well, I set yes. Hit save. Now I close this dialog box, now I will show you the demo, how it works. First I will disable my internet, for that I need to minimize it and this is my internet Wi-Fi and I will 
disable it. My net is disconnected. Now what I need to show you that when I used to click to the new email and I want to create this email, so I need to send the email to myself. I type the subject which is demo offline. I keep is as a body as well and hit send. Now you will see this email which I am currently drafting is already saved in the draft folder. And once I send it, it will take a few seconds. And this email, see your message is saved in the outbox and will be sent when you are back online. You will pop up this kind of message and that means my uh, email is saved in the outbox. And this is my outbox when I click on it. See, this is my email. Once my internet is connected, this mail will automatically send to the person. Now I will show you another thing that not only email, if I click on this calendar, it's also working. If I go to people, which is my contacts, it's a, it is also working. Go to to do. So see, once I click on to do, it's not connected because it is directly web based platform. And once the internet is disconnected, it won't work. Similarly to the newsletters, OneDrive, it is also disconnected because it is a web based platforms, it won't work. Now I will show you once my internet is connected, what happens. I connected this, again go to this, my new outlook and you will see in few seconds, this mail will be removed. See, the message from the outbox was sent. Now that way, it is very easy, very simple to use your new outlook once you are traveling or your internet is not working. It's a cool feature. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.